everybody talks about sustainability, but um, in what way <laughs> or in what scale and w or what for? Very often you see a kind of uh, abbreviation of sustainability, sustainable construction seen as green building, energy efficient building, and this is much too short. What is important for me is to anticipate what the next step will be within sustainable uh, construction. So it is a, a developing concept. It's a concept that is constantly changing uh, its focus. Uh, it started with technical issues. It moved into uh, social issues. Now uh, questions of economy are more and more uh, at, the, uh, at the forefront. Uh, and we are looking for the next possible steps uh, that will inform sustainable construction. It's important to somehow plan, simple, at the same time, you know, it can be shared, you know, with a um, group of people so that the, this idea or our development um, continues. Sustainable construction has to deal with, with uh, a responsible common sense, uh, an ethical equilibrium of our desires and our, our tools and our means. So it's not necessary the materials, it's not necessary uh, the technical question, it is mostly to deal with complex urban situations. The interesting thing about sustainability is the complexity. That means the different aspect that needs to be considered, taken into consideration and to come up with a solution, it's not the maximum for one aspect, like zero energy building, that's it. I personally somehow see a big challenge in uh, treating the territory as sustainable. There is always a notion about the buildings being sustainable. So we should really work with the existing because there's so much energy embedded, there's so much even labor embedded. And we are fighting against these calculations just on the consumption of building energy-wise. So we uh, sincerely hope that by this edition of Wholesome Award that we can somehow bring a bit more clarity what the aims are uh, to illustrate with the winning projects that the, aim, the, the targets or the scope of the issues that we have to address could be very different and that this sort of uh, uh, competition could also uh, somehow stimulate uh, the architects and creators around the world to become a bit more focused on the variety of things that are supposed to be understood as sustainable. I think it's not that a comparison uh, what we are judging. What we are judging is, is uh, uh, a special lucid moment of creativity, of, of venture, of, of, uh, of innovation. I think one of the biggest impacts that the Holzheim Foundation has is to promote truly the next generations of architects, landscape designers, urbanists, the people that we haven't heard yet of and that will make a contribution in the future. I hope to, to find some projects working with these questions, fresh air. <laughs>